Shaping your topic and starting your research. This video will suggest how to identify a topic for your research assignment or essay. We'll recommend the best first step for your research. We'll provide strategies for narrowing or broadening your topic. You get to choose your own topic? Great! For ideas, you can browse your course outline, assigned readings, or the textbook. You can also ask your professor for a suggestion. There are two steps to defining your own topic. First, think of a general idea of a topic that interests you. It should be related to your course's themes. Then, you'll narrow or broaden your topic and shape it into a research question or thesis. Tips for developing your research topic. A great first step for your research is to confirm your understanding of your broad topic idea by checking the definition in a dictionary. The library has many subject-specific dictionaries, online or in print. These dictionaries focus on the vocabulary of a particular discipline. Let's say you're a psychology student and your topic is Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, also known as OCD. Here's an online dictionary of psychology. You get the whole definition here. Another great first step is to look up a theme or topic from your course or your own broad topic idea in an encyclopedia. This will help you define your topic. The library has many print and online encyclopedias in a variety of disciplines. Here's an article from an online encyclopedia of psychology. If you read through this, you'll definitely get ideas for a topic. There will be a comprehensive tutorial on searching the catalog, but for now, here are some hints. To find subject-specific encyclopedias or dictionaries, enter the search terms into the catalog as follows. Enter the name of the discipline you're interested in along with the word encyclopedia or dictionary. How to know if it's too broad or too narrow. For example, if your topic is obsessive compulsive disorder, try searching that in the catalog. Entire books are written on this topic. You'll also find far too much research on this, so it's just not manageable. This is too much for a 7 to 10 page paper, so this topic is too broad. Let's look at another example. Say you've decided this is your research question. Is obsessive compulsive disorder more common in male adolescents from single parent homes? Try searching that in the catalog. That's nearly impossible to find supporting research for because it's so specific. For an undergraduate level paper, perhaps you can eliminate one aspect. Because as is, this subject is too narrow. If you realize it's too narrow, remove some aspects. Ah, that's just right. Is obsessive compulsive disorder more common in male adolescents? If you're finding your topic is too broad, follow these steps to narrow it down. Ask the five W's and how questions. Take your broad topic and ask who, what, why, where, when, and how. For example, obsessive compulsive disorder. Who do you want to talk about? Adolescence. Great. What aspect or how? How frequent OCD is by gender? The other questions may not always be applicable. You may only need to ask a few. Now your topic is shaped into a research question. Is obsessive compulsive disorder in adolescence more frequent in one gender? Or a thesis that you must argue. Obsessive compulsive disorder is more frequent in male adolescents. Here's another example. Say your broad topic is cheating on exams. Who do you want to talk about related to this topic? College and university students. Good. What aspect? Whether cheating has increased or decreased. When? Since smartphones became popular. Let's shape that into a research question. Has cheating on exams increased since smartphones became popular? Or a thesis statement you'll have to develop an argument for. Cheating on exams has not increased since smartphones have become popular. Still unsure if your topic is too broad or too narrow? Check with your professor. That's quite enough for this video. We hope these approaches will help you shape your topic. Please proceed to quiz number four.